So hi Louise, welcome hi. to Evoke.ie and guest editing. Thank you. Asking for it, I think, is going to be one of the most important novels in Ireland in, I think, in a really, really long time. Oh, it is. You. Consent is a huge issue. Is that what you're trying to... Yeah, no, really? absolutely. I didn't think really about the impact that the book would have or, you know, what sort of, I suppose, greater consequences it would have within a, a social sense. Yeah. Um, so it's been very, very humbling, but also mm. a little bit disconcerting, actually, to see that reaction because I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Um, and then to become almost like a face um, or a voice, I suppose, uh, for consent or, you know, yeah. um, for um, survivors of um, sexual um, violence isn't something I was anticipating, but it's something that I believe in so passionately that I'm yeah. very happy to lend my voice, whatever that may be, um, yeah. to that cause. Do we think there's going to be movies of Asking For It or Only Ever Yours? Um, well, there's definitely going to be a movie of Only Ever Yours um, because that's in pre-production at the moment. They're asking For It again, I'm really not at liberty to say at the moment, but I will say just you'll have to watch this space. So dream casting for Only Ever Yours, who would you like to see in the spots? Yeah, I mean, I'd love someone like Willow Shields as she played uh, the younger sister in Hunger Games. I'd love her for Isabel. Um, oh, she'd and, be great. Yeah, yeah. and Amanda Stenberg, um, I would love for Frida. Even though Frida in the book is, um, you know, of uh, Indian descent. So you I'd want like her. the cast of the Hunger Games in your movie? Yeah, yeah. basically. Um, and then, see, the thing with, with, with Darwin, like, my my dream would be like uh, Max Irons, but he's way too old. But it's just that's my oh, personal, hunk. that's yeah. my personal fantasy <laughs> yeah. there. To be honest, uh, nobody Irish for the yeah. One? Well, if they're not um, good looking enough. No, <laughs> no. Well, Max Irons is kind of Irish, and he's half Irish. Um, also, I, I I think it's just because they're not. They're not like with um, asking for it. I would hope that you know if that does go into production, that it would be Johnny Kinsale or somewhere. Yeah, and that they would all be Irish actors, mm -hmm. which I would love. Um, but I suppose with um, only every yours, it's not set in Ireland. Are you writing the adaptation of this, or I I really wish I could. Like I yeah. really, I just had this um, phone call with my agent. I was like, mm. is there any way that I could manage to do this as well? And mm. she's like. No, it's just not possible. You have to write, you've signed a contract with Quirkus and my priority has to be the third book. I, I can't do everything and at the moment yeah. I feel like my schedule is just insane. There's some congratulations in order for you. Oh, you were just nominated you. for two awards. Yeah, what are they? it's great. Um, the Children's Books Ireland, um, I was nominated for the book of the year. Yeah. Um, and the YA Book Prize, um, which is in the UK, um, I was shortlisted for that as well. So it's well, great. I'm very excited. Congratulations. Well, I just want to say thank you very much for coming oh, in, Louise. It was a, a pleasure to have you. Thank to you so much. Much. And I'm, I'm sorry for threatening to fire all of your staff, but the power just went to my head. I just I couldn't handle it's it. It's okay, it's okay. You yeah. can just name characters after. Yeah. <laughs>